Carmen Celeste of New Mexico Ceremonies in Nature. I'm here in Celestial Wedding Chapel in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, where you can get married or you can get married in Sierra County near one of the two lakes or by the river or in Truth or Consequences at one of the many hot springs lodging establishments that have nice courtyards. Today I'll be reading excerpts of poems and readings that you can choose from to include in your ceremony. And of course, I'm always open to including anything that you would like to have in your ceremony because it is about what your hopes and wishes are. So here we go. And now, <clears throat> as you travel down the road of life, let these words from 1 Corinthians, the Holy Bible, be a guide for you. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in the wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. The next one. And now, an excerpt from Khalil Gibran's The Prophet. And then the master was asked, and what of marriage, master? And he answered, saying, you were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. I, you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in, their, in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone, even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, but not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress Grow not in each other's shadow. I like that one. <clears throat> Please look into each other's eyes as I read a poem from Pablo Neruda. Love, how many roads to obtain a kiss? What lonely wanderings before finding you? Trains now tremble through the rain without me. Spring has yet to come. But you and I, my love, are together, together from our clothes to our bones, together in autumn, in our water, at our hips, until it's just you together, me together. To think it took all the stones born by the water flowing out of the mouth of the greatest river, to think that, held apart by trains and nations, you and I had but to love each other, with everyone mixed up, with men and women, with the earth that nurtures the carnations. And finally, please look into each other's eyes while I read this poem that you requested by Roy Croft, titled, On Friendship. I love you, not for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you, not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish weak things that you can't help seeing there and for drawing out into the light all the beautiful belongings that no one else had looked quite far enough to find. I love you 
because you have done more than any creed could have to make me good, and more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. Perhaps that is what being a friend means after all. So I usually read from this book and have this podium with me. And you can see a little bit more now, I think, of Celestial Wedding Chapel. Please go to NewMexicoCeremonies.com, New-Mexico- ceremonies.com or check out Truth or Consequences New Mexico for more info. Thank you. I hope